Hello everyone and welcome to another video where I'm gonna be discussing the origins of Hawkman and I'm gonna be talking about the original Hawkman that is Carter Hal and he's basically you know a recreation of an ancient Egyptian prime named Kofo uh, he discovered that the neat metal could uh, neg negate the effects of gravity and allowing him to fly and you know Carter decided to fight crime with his new found ability so he could uh, you know he created actually a costume which had large wings to help him uh, you know control his flight powers in the air and uh, since Hal was an archaeologist and a historian you know he uh, went to the museums to grab some weapons to help him fight uh, you know crime and bring justice to the uh, city or whatever so we saw actually a lot of versions of uh, uh, Carter Hall or uh, you know Hawkman himself so I'm gonna be talking about the new 52 what happened actually and what was the discovery that they uh, that they showed us in the end of the book uh, we saw that in the timeline of the new 52 Hal tries to rid uh, himself of his Hawkman armor by burning and burying it in the forest which I already reviewed in my uh, video where I reviewed from issue number one onto issue number four and yeah I saw this happening H uh, Hal or Carter actually tried it to uh, burn his stuff he didn't want it until the Neath Metal actually uh, suit rebounds with him you know it just got into his body preventing Hal from escaping his life as a Hawkman and you know later it revealed that the current Hawkman is Cater Hall with Carter Hall being an um, an assumed identity, so he's basically some kind of uh, I don't know he um, pretended to be uh, Carter Hall, but he was basically Qatar Hall. I think he was the, f the second Hawkman or something. But uh, yeah, there's actually a lot of versions of him. You know, there is a car. Uh, there is the uh, modern age New Earth Carter Hall. This is the guy that they discovered, er, that we discovered about him earlier, later on in the issues of Hawkman, the Savage Hawkman, actually. So, what's basically his powers and abilities? Uh, basically, the neat metal of Hawkman, you know, uh, is just you know wings that. Uh, you know help him to fly one and you know the neath metal actually provide him with wings belt uh, harness and boots uh, that is even controlling mentally and allows him to defy gravity and his wings allows him to control flight through the toe they can be uh, flapped through his using yeah his shoulder motions so I think he you know can't fly because of the motions of his shoulders or something anyway uh, has neath metal also enhance his strength and eyesight speeds uh, healing and uh, regulates body temperature preventing the need for heavy protection clothing so basically you know the uh, neath metal actually or uh, this thing that he has on his body uh, you know he just protect him and it just prevents him from getting a lot of armor on which keeps him safe you know from any kind of attacks and you know later on you see that neath metal is known uh, to affect electromagnetism yeah magnetism as well as the strong and the weak nuclear forces of the universe but only in uh, yeah only if one has the knowledge of how to use those ways. It's also mentioned in ha uh, Hawkman Secret Files 1 that me Metal possess powers still unknown to Hal himself. So I don't know if it's discovered yet, but I think so now it's not until now. And uh, basically that's, you know, the powers of, uh, uh, you know, Hawkman. And he uses other kind of weapons. Uh, you know, he uses axes, uh, you know, maces, swords, spears, and shields. And, uh, you know, we saw a lot of great stuff in, uh, about the character itself. He's a leadership, uh, you know, character. He, uh, he's, a stra he's a good at strategies, you know. Uh, once he even, uh, you know, kind of went over Batman, but Batman just came back with a better strategy. But he's, uh, you know, he's incredibly intelligent. And uh, that's it pretty much for Hawkman, you know. Uh, he appeared in a lot of stuff like the Justice League, Justice League Unlimited I think so he was in it yeah, as well uh, 
he appeared in the New 52, in the Savage Hawkman, in the Justice League of America, and now he is on uh, Justice League United, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to see, uh, you know, how he's going to be on that book. So right now I'm reading the Savage Hawkman. I reviewed the first four issues, guys. You could always check it out right down below. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, guys. And actually I want to ask you one more question. If, uh, I w you know, if you want to see Hawkeye, uh, facing another character who would it be and why leave your you know comments right down below because I'm thinking of putting him into a battle with another character but I'm not sure who to put yet but I have a character in my mind and it's Leono Leon actually you know Leono yeah Leono uh, the guy from Thundercats so I don't know maybe it's a good match but maybe it's not I don't know I wanna know what do you guys think so thank you all guys for watching